Now imagine you're a pilgrim in the 12th century. Yeah, I know, it's a bit of a stretch to imagine that. But anyway, you fall asleep outside this hermitage and an ox cart falls over and crushes you. Not good. We leave Santo Domingo by making our way to Cathedral de Santo Domingo de la Calzada and then follow the Camino markers out of town. We reach the Rio Oja with this bridge originally built by Santo Domingo himself, aka Saint Dominic. Now just before you cross the bridge, Look to your right for the Ermita de la Puente. Now, the story goes that a hermit was killed here by a toppled ox cart. Now, that would have been the end of it, and we never would have heard about him. However, a hermit and soon-to-be priest named Dominic de la Casado happened by and brought him back to life. Now, Dominic, who was born in 1013, just down the road from here, was also the same guy in the chicken story I told in the previous video. Now, he was given saint status for the chicken miracle, along with a French knight being healed of devil possession after visiting Dominic's sepulcher and then two other healings. We don't know what happened to the pilgrim. From here, we dip down to a wide dirt path that briefly runs along the highway. Tramon Camus? wonder what that means. That is, we're about to cross the road. So, be careful. And then another crossing comes up when the road merges with Highway N 120. After nearly seven kilometers of often noisy walking, we have a minor climb to Grañon. The route passes this mobile food stand with nearby restaurants and the always present pilgrim passport stamp. Trust me, the walk through the village is a welcome, calm respite after listening to the truck traffic. The next segment pleasantly rolls up and down through quiet fields. No shade but lots of sky and scenery. Now, I don't understand it, but some people can't resist leaving graffiti even on a defenseless sunflower. Next, in two kilometers, we come to a rather large sign telling us we've reached the autonomous region of Castilla y León. Short civics lesson here. An autonomous region in Spain is essentially an area with its own legislative and executive branches that make it self-governing within the limits of Spain's 1978 constitution. 
Now you could say that the regions, 17 of them, were divvied up according to culture and language. Castilla y Leon is the largest autonomous region, and we'll be hiking through it all the way to Osobrero. By the way, Osobrero is some 400 kilometers away. Anyone else think that sounds like months from here? So we take the attitude of staying in the moment and continue on a mostly easy stroll through more fields. After piling on another two kilometers, we reach tiny Redesia del Camino, where there are the usual accessories for a rest stop. Plus, we're reminded through this metal sculpture that some people think what we're doing is pretty special. And there's also something unusual for a village, a pharmacia. Okay, at least a vending machine. Get your toe tape while you can. We return to the N120 shoulder for 1.5 kilometers before veering off for even smaller Castile Delgado. The visit is short. And from here, we come to the obvious evidence of what they grow in this area and what you can do with it. Viloria de la Rioja is the next village down the road, where there's a combo albergue and bar. Remember Santo Domingo? He was born here. Now, is that what he really looked like? I don't know. We cruise through the village on a paved road, which brings us to the highway again, and more fields and various stages of agriculture. We arrived at Villa Mayor del Rio, another tiny village with a big sounding name, and seemingly no residents. Again, we take to the highway shoulder. Finally, the route crosses the N120, be careful, and makes its way into Colorado.